All right, check it out. I'm going to show you what's different with this latest version of Final Cut. So the first thing that I talked about with the class is that the import button is up here. You see it in this spot. Again, I'll click on it. It's on the top left-hand corner of the screen. You import right there, just like always. You look for your camera, you look for your SD card, and you find the clip that you want. And let's say I want this Christmas clip. Take a little piece of it, just like always, and I can hit Import Selected, and it will import it into my project. So, there's my little Christmas clip. i put them down here. Okay, so that's one thing that's a little bit different. The other thing that looks slightly different is right here where you select your blade. It just looks a little different. No big deal. It's still almost in the exact same spot. Over here, this part of the part of the screen where you used to find your filters and you would find your um, audio effects your audio stuff your music and things are right here so that has been moved your backgrounds are right here your title generators and whatnot they're over up in this area here if you see that you have this stuff and you're confused, click on that little movie slate and it'll bring you back to your clips in your browser and event window that has been always what you have had. So, now, got that there. If you look at this part of the screen here, it'll look similar, but kind of, I don't know, just rearranged. The fonts and stuff are different. Um, <clears throat> this is where you find transitions, that little double triangle thing. So if I want to add a cross dissolve in between these clips, I can drag and drop it, hit create transition. The reason I'm going so quick with this is you've been trained with it on other videos. This is just to show you why it is different. So I added that cross dissolve. Right here next to it is the filters, just like before. I can add a focus filter here, kind of blur it, move it around, make sure that I'm in focus because I'm important. There we go. There's my sister and my bride. Now, here I can see all of the audio stuff in this section. I'll click around to change that. Now I see color. I could adjust the color of the clip, give it a little bit of a hue of whatever sort that I want. I don't like the green. Let's go softer, kind of bluish colors. So I adjusted the color of the whole thing. Now everything is just kind of a dreamy blue and white. Can make it brighter or darker as is necessary. Now, if I click here, there is other things I can do. I can edit my effect that I put on there, which is the focus effect. I can come down. I can make the picture see-through if I wanted to. I could crop the picture. Just crop out everybody else. It's not important. Just get rid of everybody but me. I could do all these things. I don't want to do that. So, you see that? Just ignore that bell. It was going off while I was recording. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to change the look of your timeline down here. Click this little movie majigger here, and I can zoom in, you know, if I needed to do some fine tuning and editing, and I just wanted to cut out my smile here. Could cut there to when that smile is gone. Boom there. So I did some fine-tune editing. I delete that little part out. So you can see that. That's all by messing around with the view. You can change how stuff looks a little bit. It's all in here. I think I'll go back to filters. So you've seen how that is. You've seen how you can change through these. Ignore that bell. I could add some text in. That comes over here. There's my text. 
just like before. Your controls are there. You can see where I accidentally did some commands there by typing on the keyboard. <clears throat> so you get the idea. It's really similar to what it was before. It just looks different. All right, that's Mr. Keel out.